Hi, I'm Tad Boyle with the University of Colorado Buffaloes. You're watching Mile High Sports TV. I mean, 45 minutes or... <laughs> As a player, he was a prep star at Greeley Central. As a head coach, he helped resurrect the basketball program at UNC. And now, as the top man at CU, he's turning the Buffs into a contender in the Pac-12. He's Tad Boyle, the personification of a local boy made good. In this month's special high school edition of Mile High Sports Magazine, Robin Carlin sat down Colorado's head coach to talk prep hoops, invites to the big dance, and more in this month's Mile High Interview. This segment of Mile High Sports TV is brought to you by Taco Bell. Hey, sports fans, who wants tacos? So every coach has to be confident in his abilities, but looking back, were you surprised at how much you and your program were actually able to accomplish last year? Well, you never know, especially as a first-year coach, you never know what you have until you really get into it and get into a season and have some adversity come your way. And We found out early last year in November, we had some tough losses early, and uh, uh, certainly you're confident as a coach, but you never know uh, how your players are going to respond to you, especially being a first-year coach. So I was really pleased with, uh, at the end of the year, looking back, um, how our team responded. But uh, certainly in November, there were some, there were some tense uh, moments. While you ultimately didn't make the NCAA tournament last year, you did shine in the NIT tournament. How difficult was it to rally the team after such heartbreaking news? It was difficult. Uh, everybody was disappointed. Our, our coaching staff, our players, our fans, uh, anybody associated with Colorado basketball was disappointed in the snub that we that we got. Um, but again, I think it just it uh, it's a testament to the resiliency of young young men. And uh, you know we challenged them, and uh, they responded to that challenge. I was I was probably more proud of our players. Uh, that Monday's practice after Selection Sunday than I have been of any group of guys I've been associated with. What's been the biggest ch challenge between this year and last year? Well, it's just getting to know our new team. And we lost over 70% of our scoring. We lost, uh, you know, of, of our 10 players in the rotation this year, three of them played last year for us. And so that's, you know, 70% of your team is new and, uh, and in, in many ways unproven. And the guys that are coming back are now coming into different roles. They were you know, maybe uh, secondary type roles last year and now they're asked to carry you know, some scoring loads and, and some production that uh, they weren't asked to do last year. So it's a whole new team. It's almost like our second first year. The variables might alter, but for Boyle, the formula for winning basketball hasn't changed since his days as a star at Greeley Central High School. Coach Hicks, who I played for at Greeley Central, you know, he would talk to our team all the time about uh, Hey, you have to be ready uh, when when the time comes to to step up and perform. And uh, you know, I was obviously the guy that got a lot of the shots and a lot of the attention in high school. But I remember playing in the state tournament. We we're in the semifinals, uh, and Dean Miller, one of my teammates, it was, a, it was a real close game. And we're coming down the stretch, and I'm double teamed. I pass it over to Dean, and Dean steps up and knocks down a 15 footer to to, to basically win the game. And I think you know. Without Coach Hicks talking to our team about uh, being ready for that, Dean might not have been ready, but he was ready. He stepped up, and, and we won the game. And it wasn't because of Tad Boyle. It was because my teammates were prepared, and, and we were all prepared to step up when we needed to step up. And that was, a, that was a great lesson for me, and I think all of our team. In practically every way imaginable, you've been there. How much does your success as you know, a very successful high school and college basketball player help you today? Um, is the game the same? Are the kids the same? Uh, I don't think the kids are much different. You know, I, I think the game is different. I mean, you know, I played back in the day when there was no shot clock or three-point line, so the game was different. There's no doubt about that. But uh, and it's funny, I, you know, with our players today, I don't even know if they knew I played, you know, college basketball. I don't talk about my playing days a lot. So I learned a lot during those playing days, and I played for great coaches. Larry Hicks at Greeley Central. Uh, was was a, another great coach that I played for, playing for Ted Owens and Larry Brown, who we've talked about. Um, great coaches. I've been very fortunate uh, to be around great coaches in my life. And, uh, but I don't talk about my playing days a lot. 
Um, I think it solidifies the confidence I have in myself and, and the belief in the systems that we try to teach here at Colorado uh, or wherever I am coaching. Um, I know what works, I know what doesn't work, and uh, we try to simplify the game as, as best we can. For those who have been following Colorado basketball, it appears as if Boyle has his buffs on the right track. Again, after an excellent start, the buffs surged into their first Pac-12 season. Thus far, the results have been solid, giving buffs fans a reason to believe they'll be dancing in March. We have some pieces uh, to the puzzle this year. It's, it's, a, it's, it's kind of like a baker baking a cake. It's fine. We have the ingredients, we just got to find the right mixture. And uh, that's what we're in the process of doing right now. But we have some talented players, and, uh, but we lost some talented players. So again, I think it takes time uh, to find yourself. Uh, and we got to make sure that our young, young players continue to grow and get better. And uh, we need our seniors to really step up and have great senior years. And, and if, uh, if they do that and our younger players come along, uh, this, this, this year's team can be uh, just as much fun as last year's. Basketball is relevant again in Boulder, thanks to Tad Boyle. Next month, we'll find out if the second year coach can get his buffs over the next hump, as an NCAA tournament invite could be in the works for CU. For more of Robin's interview with Coach Boyle, pick up the February issue of Mile High Sports Magazine on newsstands now. Next up, Gil Whiteley continues the hoops theme as he sits down with Nuggets GM Masai Ujiri. Keep it right here on Mile High Sports TV.